Hello, Brenton with All of Octane here. And in this video, I am opening up the Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge Nissan that I was able to get from the RLC. So, or I guess Mattel Creations, probably more Mattel Creations. There is a difference. And uh, thankfully, one of my viewers let me know that. So there's a difference between Mattel Creations and Hot Wheels RLC. And this is the Ultimate Challenge R33 that was on the show. Now, I won't lie, I never watched the show, so I, uh, yeah, I don't know anything about this at all, and it's kind of sad that I didn't watch the show, but it just, I don't know, I didn't have enough time, I could probably go back and watch it on Peacock, I would imagine maybe it's on Peacock, I actually don't know, that's something I should probably look up says, go far and go fast in the winning vehicle from season one of Hot Wheels Ultimate Garage, Ultimate Challenge. Our Shui Garge and her car carpool team of extraordinary customizers took a Nissan Skyline GTR R33 and modified it into an impressive prize-winning safari car, Rally Resilience. This powerful dune racer features a candy red Zamac body, a real riders, 1552 Turbo Mac wheels, and black solid foil hubs. In a medium smoke tinted windows, fuel up and embark on your next off-road adventure because this marvel of automotive imagination can handle any challenge. And I, again, I have no idea how the show worked, ran, went, nothing. But when you have an R33 involved and you safari anything, you're probably on the recipe for success. So it kind of makes sense that this would have been the winner. Um, I feel like you could have made a Porsche a lowrider and uh, with hydraulics and it would have won. You know, like it, there, are, there are certain models that it's, that is what your canvas is that uh, normally you can't do much wrong with it. Then again, Hoovy just uh, released a video recently where he uh, apologized for all the things he's done to Porsches over the years. And yeah, so I guess, you know, everybody has their own opinions. He's got the Apollo 911. He's got the Safari 911. He painted a uh, 911, um, what you call it? Plum Crazy Purple. So, all right, let's take a look at this. Metal on metal which is really epic. It has a very fast and furious feel to it. Furious-esque. Has to have the quad taillights, right? Like that's the best feature of a Skyline. The builder kept that, which is awesome. Big, huge spare tire, although it isn't a full spare. It's not exactly the same size as the, the rest of them, but they captured the detail pretty well. Let's try to see if it'll focus. Not really sure what that says. Probably ultimate challenge. Something like that. The packaging is pretty cool. I have to admit, that's cool. And I'll probably put this back in the package. Just to store. It's not numbered. So as a collector, you don't really have to worry about that. These were pre-ordered for quite some time, I think over a year the show ended this was the 2023 season one or it just says season one this was back in 2023 yeah so i don't think there was a season two renewal uh, i don't think the show did that well and there are some vinwiki stories about people who worked on the show so if you watch vinwiki you can go see that i do like this big huge skip plate like that's really cool the big huge body kit on this thing as well it's it's a well done car, especially if that's what the real life car looked like. Huge rally lights up top here, like the lights on the mirrors. That's a clever way to put them. Gas cans in the back. That's a very clever place to put those right in the body kit as well. This just seems like an overall good build in terms of quality in real life to make a fantastic casting. Which will be interesting because, you know, this is something from the show, a show. Whereas we've had contestants in the uh, Legends Tour for years now getting their car turned into a 
a 164th scale die cast and none of them have been premiumed yet i don't believe this thing went straight to premium basically like this was a good 25 five dollar car or more i believe and it's metal on metal rubber tires like this thing went straight to the nines tampos everywhere top sides bottoms fronts so yeah this is an rlc car or at least a mattel creations car to the nines so it's really impressive what mattel can do when they put their mind to it i kind of like that um let me know if you were able to get this let me know if you watched the show give me more details about it if you know them let me know in the comments below and until the next one have a good one